Hey guys, take a to what the video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to fix your iPhone if it keeps on beeping while charging or basically blinking when it's charging where it's not charging properly. You wanna follow these steps and we're gonna tell you exactly why this is happening on the new iPhone 15 lineup. So important thing is, first thing is the new iPhone 15, as you know, comes with now USB-C charging, no longer uh, lightning charging anymore. So in the box, you notice that they include a cable, a braided cable, just like that with two USB-C uh, ends, which if you unbox any of the new iPhones, you get that, right? That's great. Now, first thing is that you want to make sure that if you're charging your iPhone, use this original charger. And the next thing is you need to get one of these blocks from Apple with 20 watt here that I found works the best. And the reason why you're experiencing this beeping or making sounds or blinking is because this power adapter that's a 20 watt needs to be 20 watt in order to deliver the right amount of power for your iPhone because the way with the new USB-C is working is that if you have like a 5 watt or lower or maybe even like a 10 watt, 12 watt, those other off-brand ones I found do not work great and a lot of people are experiencing this because they're not using this block which Apple sells separately which you have to buy from uh, Apple one you can buy it from Apple or Best Buy or any of the stores wherever you can get it but make sure it's a 20 watt one and you're gonna plug this end in here and then use that new cable that you receive for the best charging that you're gonna get again if you have another off-brand one I recommend not using it you'll see once you start using this you will not have any issues with it the other thing also to something to test out is that some users have reported that for the setting on your iPhone under battery the battery health and charging you might notice battery charging optimization by default is turned to optimize charging which again is great if it's working for you after you do that and it's not beeping but if you're still having the issue I recommend switching over to 80 percent limit which in the wrong run will help preserve the battery life of your iPhone as well because once it hits 80 percent it will stop charging so you can test out that 80 percent now if 80 percent you're having issues you can try none but none isn't recommended because it will charge the phone to 100 percent but over time it might degrade or lower the value of the battery health quicker than the other two options but go ahead and test it out between these settings and see with the new adapter wall adapter see if that issue is preserving now after you got a new adapter one thing I like to do on a phone to resolve any software related issue is doing a force restart so in order to do a force restart you're gonna press and release the volume up followed by press and release the volume down and finally hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo appear that time you let go of that button so I'm gonna do volume up volume down and then I hold the side button so again volume up volume down and then you hold the side button just like this in this process that we're doing is completely shutting down the phone until it goes black so you're not going to slide to power off you're just going to wait till it completely shuts down and at this time in a few seconds you'll see the Apple logo and then I let go of that button and what we have done is essentially shut down the phone by forcing it to shut down and then reloading the code so if there's a software related issue impacting that charging issue after using a Apple wall adapter it should fix it for you now the other thing I also can recommend is that if you're using MagSafe charging from Apple on your iPhone that will also be good because that doesn't it doesn't seem like the issue is of, of there on the MagSafe charging for the wireless charging if you can use that go ahead and try that and you won't have any beeping or that blinking issue finally it's always good to go ahead and see if there's an update out if you're still having issues by going to setting general and look to see if there's a software update available for your phone again even if you're having this issue after following these steps go ahead and try to update your phone to the latest version you should see uh, your phone should be at least 50 percent or more charged connected to a good strong wi-fi or cellular data and give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes to be able to successfully install the update and that's it and hopefully now your iPhone charging beeping and blinking issue that you're having is gone if so please hit the like and subscribe button also leave a comment in the comment section if you found a better solution for this issue that you may be experiencing and I hope this video was helpful if so please make that like and subscribe button see you guys next time